In this Blue T AC 200 MAX Portable Photovoltaic Generator Review, we will discuss the features of the device and whether it is worth purchasing. The device comes with the usual suspects, an AC charging brick, solar panel connectors, a 12 volts car charger, and a carrying case for its accessories. It also comes with an instructional guide. While this is a small package, it provides a great deal of utility. The Blue T AC200 Max is the latest addition to the 200 series lineup. Like the AC200P, it can be expanded with the B230 battery module. It also includes a mobile app. This model is compatible with Blue T B230 battery expansion packs and is Bluetooth enabled. There are two expansion ports on the AC200 MAX. This means you can attach up to two Blue T battery modules. The B230 module is 2048 watt hours high, while the B300 battery module has a 3072 watt hour capacity. Clean and maintain the solar panels to get the best performance. Otherwise, they may lose efficiency over time. If you're serious about buying a portable solar generator, continue watching our full Blue T AC 200 MAX portable solar generator review to see how well it performs. Another key feature of the Blue T is its ability to charge from both a wall outlet and a solar panel. Its battery module allows you to charge the unit from both sources simultaneously, which saves you money. You can charge the AC200 MAX in just 2 hours using a wall outlet and solar panels. In addition, you can charge it using 7 ways, which makes it more versatile than many other solar panels. This thing is amazing. Powerful, quiet, clean energy so we feel safe as hurricane season approaches in South FLA plugged everything in to see if we could charge all 5 devices, cook breakfast in an electric skillet, while we ran two fans and a light. It was great. Then hooked up to the garage freezer and ran it for three hours. It still has about 4 percent power after we tested it out all day. I did not purchase this on Amazon. I purchased it from the Bluetti website in March 2021. I did a ton of research and compared this heavily to the Goal Zero 1500X. My experience with it has been great so far. Its features work as advertised and I've experiences no bugs with the AC200P. The solar panels are very pricey for their output but you're paying for the premium sun power cells they use, plus the fold-up packaging. If I were expanding my solar setup I would add third-party panels and wire them with the SP120S, but as a portable option these panels are awesome. Setup and takedown are quick and easy. The panels weren't especially picky about being a bit off angle from the moving sun, you don't have to move them as often. I first tried my array in late March at 43 degrees latitude on a cloudless day around 11 am. The array was able to generate 310-315W which is very respectable considering the northern latitude and the less powerful spring sun. I actually expected less than 300W. I also tried shading one solar cell with my hand, as I've seen videos where shading one cell on a solar panel can slash the whole array's output. However they wired these, shading a cell just dropped the array from 310 to 280W. That's a big drop for 1 out of 108 cells, but not as bad as I've seen in similar cases. What this means is that a small shadow or a leaf on a panel isn't going to completely ruin your charging efficiency. Great system. Pricey but worth it. Tested running a 7. Zero chest freezer, 100W LED bulb, charged an iPhone 7 and XR from 20% to full. Ran for 19 hours, 
42 minutes and 12 seconds before the station needed to be charged. The freezer was opened and closed six times during the test so the compressor would kick on. So far so good. We bought this to power my dialysis machine while camping and power outages. We haven't tried to charge using solar yet, hopefully it goes well. Thank you.